everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to be doing a video that I feel is a much needed video. I get asked questions about this particular issue all the time and it's an industry wide issue. So I have my favorite products and some tips for you guys. So let's just go ahead and get started with the video. Right, so what is it that I'm talking about? Painting your furniture white. It can be very problematic, especially if you want to add extra durability and top coat that white. So what I'm going to talk about today are a couple of the products that you don't need to use a top coat on, but if you do decide to top coat, a few things that you can do that, will may, that may help alleviate that issue. Here's the problem. It's an industry-wide issue that white will yellow on its own over time. When you add something like a water-based poly to it, it can actually do it instantly or over time as well. So here's the thing. There are many products out there that are all in ones that will provide you the durability that you need without having to top coat that white. When I say it's an industry wide issue, it's become so popular of an issue that some paint companies actually put a warning label on their bright white lids that say, do not top coat this bright white as it may yellow. So they're giving you that already warning off the very bat not to do it. I can tell you from previous experience, I've had it happen. I even had videos that I've put out there to help figure out how to alleviate or combat that and those do help, but I kind of have just given up and said, you know what, I need to find some products that will provide me the durability and the fact that I can paint this bright white and not have to worry about the yellowing issue. So let's go ahead and talk about some of these products. First of all, you all know I'm a huge fan of Fusion Mineral Paint. One of the reasons is because this paint is a paint and top coat in one. It's got 100% acrylic resin top coat built into the formula. Therefore, you do not have to top coat this. They have plenty of whites to choose from, extremely durable, and I can tell you firsthand my own personal bedroom set is done in a fusion white. After the cure time of 21 days, you are good to go. It provides a very durable finish. It is a matte finish, so if you're looking to add some sheen to it by top coating it, then you're gonna want to follow the steps that I'll tell you a little bit later in the right. video. Here is another product that I really, really like. You guys know general finishes. They are the ones who actually put a warning label on their whites. This is their antique white, but on their snow white, they actually have a warning label right on the top that says, do not top coat this white. So, Here's the thing I'm going to tell you about general finishes. This is not a paint and top coat in one. They don't claim that. What they tell you is this is a self sealing paint. Therefore, it's very durable and doesn't require an additional top coat if you don't want to. I can tell you I've done plenty of pieces, hundreds of pieces in general finishes, milk paint without a top coat, no problem. It is a very durable paint and it's also very wipeable. So they tell you that you absolutely can top coat it and for high traffic areas, they recommend it, but they do warn you on the whites to not do that. All right, the next product, I actually don't have a white to show you, but I have used their white and this is an excellent product. So I wanna share this one with you. This is the Dixie Bell Silk Mineral Paint. This is an all-in-one. It is a primer, a paint, and a top coat in one. So there you go in one jar. You definitely don't need to top coat this. You can. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. Any paint that has a top coat already in it, you can absolutely top coat over it. It's an option. But when we're talking white paint and you don't wanna to have to top coat it, it's fantastic. So this is a primer, paint, and top coat in one. I have used this. It's a very wipeable and very durable after the cure time. Right, and this next one is one that I use very, very often. You can tell because I order it by the gallon. This is the General Finishes Enduro White Poly. Now this probably, in my opinion, is one of the most durable out there on the market. It is a spray only product. It is a paint and poly in one. Therefore, no top coat additional required. I use this quite a bit on especially high traffic areas because I know it's an extremely durable product and I don't have to worry about the longevity. Definitely isn't going to yellow either. Okay, so here is our piece that I just completed in the Enduro White Poly, and I get a lot of sunshine right now on my staging area, but just so you guys can see the sheen, it's a satin sheen is what I chose. This is going in a kid's bedroom. I did about four coats. When you're spraying, it does go on, and the Enduro is a really thin product, so it does go on a little bit lighter. I did four coats. Um, I did not prime this piece as it's not a bleeder whatsoever and I had no issues with coverage. 
But this is what the Enduro White Poly looks like on a piece. Pro Finishes does make another product. I don't happen to have it in my shop. I don't use it very often because I spray. But they have a product, and I'll put a picture of it right here for you guys. It is the brushable white enamel. It's exactly the same formula in a brushable version. So therefore, if you don't spray, you absolutely can still get the same formula in a brushable version. And it also is very, very durable. Right, now let's talk about if you decide to top coat your white, what can you do to make sure that you put some extra added steps in there to help not have that happen? Well, one of the things that I love and always have in my shop is shellac. This stuff, in my opinion, is the do-all, catch-all, fantastic, number one, it's gonna seal it in, it's gonna block it out, type primer. I use this on cherry, mahogany, even some of the golden oaks, which when you're painting white, even if you're not top coating, it's a good idea to prime your piece. That will block any tannins that may bleed through and also turn that yellow. So it's not just top coating that can turn it yellow, it's the tannins in the wood that can bleed through. So if you stop that by putting this underneath your project, you're gonna be that much better off not to have any yellowing. Last but not least, I have another one that I like to use in my sprayer. It is also brushable, and that is the General Finishes Stain Blocker Primer. This is also, this is a white colored primer, so it's great under white paint. It's a stain blocker. Again, will help those tannins from bleeding through and make your project that much more susceptible to that yellow coming through. All right, you guys, that is it. We are at the end of the video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the post notification bell so that you know when all of my latest videos have been released. It also allows you to be a part of my YouTube community, which helps keep my channel going, and I sure do appreciate it. If you have any positive comments or questions, make sure you leave them down below, as I love engaging with you guys and I'll always answer your questions. I'll go ahead and put all the product information in the show notes down below as well. Thanks again, and I'll catch you on the next video.